What's up, GTV JP in the house? What's up? What's up, GTV JP in the house? What's up? What's up, GTV JP in the house? Okay, I'm thirsty. Okay, so I might not be the best host, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to keep everything as normal as possible. Um, let's see. I want to do something, which, gosh, I forgot to do before I jumped on this. Okay, it's cool. Whatever. Um, get my awesome iPods. I, uh, what was that? AirPods or something like that. Oh, what's up, one person in the house? Time in if you can. Let me know where you at. Okay, so this here is uh, my ear things, and these are pretty good, actually. He's working. Oh man, I didn't even set them up. Hopefully, hopefully these are working. I didn't hear anything, but they said they're connected, so hopefully they are. I'm checking my handy dandy charger. So anyway, first topic today is communicating. And the problems I have with communicating with people. And it's interesting. I think I made a video about this before, but I wanna uh, talk about it some more. Okay, so communication. You know, when I was coming up, it was a time where, where you talk, uh, you would just listen until the person finished what they were saying. And I know you got these uh-huhs and um, what are they called? Um, mm -hmm, whatever, you know. But for me, I've learned that uh, for all my life, all I do is listen. I don't interrupt or anything like that. So as I um, got older, hello. Hey, what's up, JJ, JJ, J? How you doing? Where you chiming in from? Thank you. If you can, give some thumbs up. would be appreciative. If you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Get some dialogue in here. would be great. South Korea. Wow. So let's see. Are you... So what's your nationality? I think. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up. Oh, he's gone just like that. South Korea. Okay, that's cool. So anyway... Um, so when I listen, I like to really pay attention and just speak. Yeah, I mean, not speak, but just listen. And um, my mom back in LA, and I think in Hawaii or different places, we go, and I'm black, we met once. Oh, really? Oh, wow. You gotta, uh, you gotta tell me where did we meet? Because I don't know you by your your uh, name. Ah, two years ago. Okay, okay, okay. You got it. So I guess I must have walked up and talked to you then. What? <laughs> that's what I usually do when I meet bros and stuff. Oh, okay, that's cool. You got to remind me. Went to Club Ghost. Okay. So I went to Ghost, Ghost, Ghost. Where is Ghost? 2000 years, Club Ghost. Okay. 2018, Tim. Tim, let's see if I can remember Tim. Are you light skinned and tall? And skinny? Is that you? Maybe that was you, I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Osaka, North Korea. I'm sure you're not the basketball player. But anyway, I'm gonna think about it. It's, it's, it may come to me. Give me some more hints. It's interesting because there's it says about your about your complexion five foot nine. Tim, Tim, 2018. How do we meet? With glasses. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta tell me how do we meet. Tell with glasses. Uh, were you visiting at that time? You drove me to the airport after we left the club. Whoa, really? <laughs> 
That is so cool. So it must have been Kansai Airport, I guess. Because I don't remember going to Osaka Airport so much. Uh, wow. That's, you know, I do that a lot. I just, I was visiting from Korea and I hit you up from Utah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, wow. I wish I had a picture of you. Are you on my Facebook? If you're on my Facebook, oh, okay, okay. I think after the club we went. There, yeah, I try to think. It's you know it's weird because I should remember that because I don't do that often, but I, I have done it. I'm in the players group. Uh, I got a new one. I don't know if you're in the um. Uh, in the um. Uh, I got a new one. It only has 31 people in it. So if you want to join, let me know. But you got to hit me up on, um, hit me up online. Okay. And then I added you to it. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay. Cool, cool. Wow, that is terrible. I hope, I'm looking at my witchy color. Hopefully I got a picture of you. I'm so sorry. I meet just so, so many people all the time. Uh, I probably can't even. Uh, okay, good. Let's see, Players Club. See if I can find you. Ta da! See, Tim, uh, my name is on there. Okay. I'm going down here and. I even got a picture of you. Wow. <sighs> Wow. Okay, I got. I see you, and I don't remember. I am so sorry, but it'll it'll hit me though. It'll hit me. Ah, because I don't really drive too many people to Kansa. I've done it a few times. I think four or five times only. It's cool. I am so sorry. But you, hey, you should respond. But no, it's okay. It'll it'll um it'll um pop in my mind because yeah, it's been a while but it'll pop because it was this one guy who I only talked to and he hit me up when I was doing that um that accident video and uh <laughs> I just automatically just popped up and remembered who he is so I'll um I'll remember but hey how is it out there how is it out there in Korea two people in the house what's up thank you thank you Give me some thumbs up. Yeah, I need to. Um, actually, I'm going to go back to uh, Korea. There's a brother in the club, in a group. His name is Ray. He's out there, too. I don't know if you know him, but maybe you want to um, contact him. He's in the current group, too. His name is Ray. So he's out there, too. Okay, so let me get on with this. Uh, Korea is all right. Okay. Yeah, I went out there with my family, and I... um. Hey, what's up? What's up? Ice Beam, just chilling, just trying to get this web page going on and uh, stuff like that. So it's all cool. How you doing? Um, yeah, I went out there with my family, and um, I did not have a good time <laughs> the last day. I went out by myself, so I want to go out there again this time for like maybe a couple of days and just walk around and stuff and just see what's going on. But when I went to the downtown area, it, it reminded me of LA, so I thought that was cool. But anyway, let me jump on this communication thing. Um, so I used to, especially in Hawaii and LA and everything, I listened to a lot of people talk, lots of stories here too in Japan. And I'm the type of person who just listens. I don't do all that mm -hmm and all of this stuff, you know, what people do because I like to... How can I say that? I don't want to miss anything that people say, any words that people say. So I'm really attentive when I listen and I have a good memory. So when we're talking, I'm able to recall a lot of the um, words and things that people say. Hey, what's up, three people in the house? Thank you, chime in. Let's get some thumbs up if you can. Um, you guys got to give me a time. Someone said nine o'clock my time here is a good time to make videos. Um, so I want to actually start trying to make videos all the time. And hey, I got a question. Would you guys be interested in me doing like a 24-hour video? Of course, <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking. 
But I was thinking about like just doing an all day video when I'm just driving in my car, just take a trip somewhere, um, get out talking to people and things and um, just see what happens. Because actually I was talking to a friend the other day, this lady I know, and she was telling me how uh, um, she goes on trips and stuff. And then she asked me where I want to go. And I said, I really just jump in my car and I just drive straight, you know, and <laughs> see what happens. You know, I just see the signs, see something interesting, it was interesting word, and I just turn left or right or whatever. But um, like I said, I listen attentively, and um, it's weird because it seems like over time, when people really start um, listening to um, these videos um, on YouTube, um, I don't know exactly when it changed, but it's... It's weird how people will ask you a question and answer their own question. Um, I have a lot of problems with that, and it's interesting. And I, I mean, it's really sad too because get to the point where I don't really want to talk to these people. So there's a few people who I know, and uh, they pretty much, how can I say this? Um, Ask me a question. And as I start to a answer it, they come in and I'll say like a subject or whatever, and they'll come in and they'll take over my conversation. You know, they'll take my subject, or whatever this one trigger word was, and then add it to themselves about them. I mean, make up some of them, put themselves in it, and then accuse me of, you know, saying something that they imagine in the heads and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? So like I was talking to a person today, actually, you know, it happened today. We were talking about animation and stuff like that. And I said that I know about something. Now, when you say you know about something, you know, that word no has many, I guess it has many uh, meanings, I guess, that you can attach to it. And when I say I know about that, you know, I guess the person thought that I said that I have, you know, thorough, you know, very deep knowledge of it. And it was just like, no, I mean, I know about that because, I mean, I understand English, right? Pretty much I understand English. And if you, we were talking about automation and autoresponder, right? So, if someone says autoresponder, and if you don't understand what autoresponder, hey, four people in the house, thank you. If you, if a person, when a person says autoresponder, that means it's something that responds automatically. Then you have automation. And then automation is something that you set up things to do, you know, whether it's all uh, response or do this or do that. And it's really funny because. I'm starting to, six people in the house, thank you, thank you, some thumbs up, seven people in the house. I'm starting to think that, you know, maybe a lot of people don't really understand English. Or, thank you for the thumbs up, gentlemen, GS, greetings from, hey, man, on Dios, hey, 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 when you coming out here? Oh, guess what? I'll tell you guys something. I, just, I think I just found out that I have a small school, just one person, and... I have a perm ah, I have permanent residence and stuff. But with my business, um, I heard I went down to um, immigration because I'm attempting to help a person get their uh, visa extended. You know, so working with me and stuff. And if it's that's true, then oh man, I'm just I let me let me make that another video. Okay. So anyway, I'm thinking when you're speaking to people that people really don't understand the words that they use. And when you hear this word, I mean, it's like autoresponder, automation. And you guys remember <clears throat> when automation came out, I guess is when the first time I really heard about it was um, when I bought the Mac. And um, I think that was um, um, inside the Mac computer, which I have now, Mac computer. And uh, they had this automation thing where you can put it in and all this stuff. And I think that was before the, uh, what's that, Dream? 
that uh what's that thing called when you can time machine it was like before the time machine right and then after that the time machine came out where you can do all this automation stuff right so i read about it and understand it but i didn't i didn't really have anything to automate you know because i barely i only use my computer to just write books and stuff like that or not play games but you know whatever and so welcome back it's I could tell feels oh good hey man what's up what's up you gotta okay 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 yeah you got it um I'll call you hopefully you got the same number you know keep in touch um I got some things I need to tell you you know it's very important that you you need to know okay because I don't know if you know about it or not okay so I just want to share that with you but I'm going to find out soon, but I was told it was okay. And so um, this is what I'm going to tell you. Don't really tell a lot of people. Really don't tell a lot of people. But it's it's really interesting. It's something that you can do. And it's really it's, it can really change a lot. So anyway, so I'm thinking to myself, you know, why am I talking to these people? And they don't understand it. So I got into this big conversation, you know, and I'm thinking like to myself, well, the purpose of English is to communicate with words that I guess you would, hello, eight people in the house, thank you. Six thumbs up, thank you, that you would expect them to understand the English, right? And so, it, you know, this big fight got out and stuff. You know, I mean, it was just coming from this side. And I'm thinking to myself, why is it that uh, someone would just get so intense in trying to, explain to me what the difference between automation and autoresponder is and then believe that I've never read it or you know done all of that stuff when whenever you're working on websites or whatever you know you always got those things popping up and stuff right and it it was just really weird I just got really discouraged and say you know it's difficult you know speaking to you know speaking to people and um I was talking to another friend the other day and this person just likes to talk I mean this person just really just likes to talk 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 and it was funny today because we were uh, talking again and uh, whenever I talk to this person it's almost like we get into these arguments because this person doesn't want to allow me to talk and I think I'm not joking I really think that it's because a lot of people look at me. Hey, nine people in the house, thank you. Some thumbs up. Um, A lot of people, I think, look at me and think, not because I'm black or anything. I don't don't really care about that. You know, if that's the case, uh, let's just put that to the side. It has nothing to do with that. But I don't, I guess I just don't have the appearance of a really handsome person, I guess, or a smart person. And in Japan, I've made a lot of money and well based on what people are making almost not a lot of money but I have put in work and made over from what I remember from my calculations definitely over 1.5 million dollars and um of course you know like I said my other videos I divorced and that my wife kept I'm at uh, second wife keep everything I didn't take a penny, any penny or anything you know I took a little bit of jewelry and built you know now here I am but um it's just funny because people will look at me and think I am not smart or intelligent or don't know what I'm doing whoa yeah tell you guys it's a lot of money I even have a billion dollar idea out here too but um and that is very very doable um but it's just funny so I'll talk to these people and I think um, when I'm speaking to them, they're always ready to jump on me because I guess they got in their minds that I think that I know everything. Okay. I don't know everything. Um, I don't say that I know anything. I know I am. That's the, I mean, just with my oh, seven thumbs up. Thank you. Even when I um, second wife broke up, she said, how much money do you want? I said, I want nothing. You keep it all. Just give me this jewelry here and I'll be on my way. And that was it. I, I ain't lying. It was just like that. And um, But had I been perfect, 
then I would have never joined the military. Or after I joined the military, because I got kicked out because of my information file that my captain gave to me to keep, he left. And I just took it with me, you know, because I wanted to talk to my and I left, and then they took it. Well, one person took it, but um, I ended up getting kicked out. But actually, it was a lie, and the captain and the um, uh, major did tell me that they lied on me. But I told them, no, it's okay, just let me get out because, you know, I can keep on moving this stuff. But it's just like, I don't know what it is. I, I walk in the room, and when I open my mouth, it's like, I totally crush whatever image these people have of me. And so we'll talk and I don't, I really don't get it, but I get a lot of people calling me and maybe it's because of the videos. Maybe it's not because of the videos. I don't know. A lot of people come up and talk to me, call me or whatever. And I'm listening to them. They know, ask for some advice and I'll give them some advice. And like I said before my other videos, cause it's always bothering me and stuff, you know, not like you're stressing me out. I'm just like, it's to the point where I'm like, you know, I only want to talk to people. Let me just go on and, you know, do what I'm going to do, make my money, just, you know, forget it and just go on and enjoy my life because I can enjoy my life without, you know, really hanging out with people because the only people that I really need to hang out with, my kids, well, until they get older, don't want to be with me, my daughter, you know, family and stuff like that, those who want to be with me. But, I mean, besides my family, I, I can go and go to another country is I can meet women like, like this is, it's nothing. People always coming to me and stuff. So um, it's just interesting. But when I open my mouth, I'll say things that people don't expect to, they don't expect me to have that knowledge. And, and when they talk, call me, it's almost like they bait these arguments. And it's funny because I was talking to the one brother, right? And it was recent, and uh, I, I called him to tell him that I just found out something, and then I was going to extend this favor to him. And, um, but, well, I didn't, well, he called me, and I called him back. Hey, what's up? Let me be in the house. Thank you. And so we started talking and stuff, and then he gets into this conversation about this, I guess, religion or something like that. And I was just like, you know, I'm listening to him and I have really no interest. I, but I like, I do listen to people. And, and I think the reason, no, I don't think, I know the reason I listen to people because I know a lot of people are stressed and talking is a very good, um, it's therapy, you know, therapy. And my mom, she used to tell me that a lot when I was in Hawaii. And, and actually me and my mom was talking one day and I, she talked and I listened to her without saying a word for four hours, four hours, you know, and I'm just like, wow, you know, but um, I'll say things that people don't expect to hear from me. So when he was talking and so I said to him, I said, you know, I don't understand, you know, you call me, you call me. I didn't answer because I was busy. I called. We started talking about something really nice, whatever. And then we get into this debate. I'm like, why do you always call me? And we get into these arguments. And he said, I know he's going to watch this, but he said, um, we don't argue, we debate. And I just hit the floor. Bam. I'm like, wow. I was like, wow. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really blown away because if you look in the dictionary, and you look up the word debate, I have like dictionary.com on my phone. And the first, and you hit the synonym side, the first word is argument. And of course, you know, if you're a computer program, you know, you have arguments and programming and stuff. And, and I sent it to him and I showed him, and I said, you know, it's not the point that we get into these debates because it really doesn't matter to me because they're fun. It's like playing a video game. But it's difficult to communicate with you if you don't understand the words that comes out of your mouth or the words that you hear in your simple words. So when he said, why do you call me? I said, why do you, every time you call me, we get into these arguments. We don't get no arguments. We had debates. 
And so I said to Tom, and it was like long into the conversation. I had to stop him. I said, listen, man, listen, you know, I think you really should take some time and go back and read a dictionary again and make sure you really, truly understand the words that you're saying. And it's like when I was talking about the automation and the autoresponder, I mean, it reminds me of this. Um, <laughs> I was in the military. I think I was at... Um, it was Wichita Falls. Oh, I don't remember the name of that. It's not, I forgot the name. It was Wichita Falls, uh, Texas, right? And uh, we were, you know, I was in the maintenance and the instructor was giving these, um, what is that? You know, doing a lesson and everything. And I didn't really, I wasn't really into maintenance. I don't even know why I got into maintenance and stuff, but uh, I guess because I messed up on a test and, they said whatever you know but I went and took it and just like blew it away the second time but um he said what is the universal wrench so actually I have no idea what a universal wrench it's a monkey wrench okay that's how I describe it as a monkey wrench but it was later you know but he said a universal wrench so it was like mostly white guys in the class a couple of brothers I guess no one knew what a universal wrench was and so I raised my hand and I said, oh, it's a wrench that you can use. Um, um, I, I want to say the word practical, but I don't know if people really understand it. But it's a wrench that you can use pretty much in uh, many different situations. And he said, how do you know that? You know, because recently you just said it was something else that he asked. And I didn't know because I, I, you know, you don't know you asked, right? And so. He said, well, you didn't know that, but why you know this? Because the other class didn't know it. But I'm thinking to myself, what I didn't know is like, if like, okay, like somebody say, what's quantum physics, right? So what does the word quantum means? You know, a lot of people may know, a lot of people might not know. But let's say like, I would have been the one who, um, I know what it is, but, uh, okay, let's say like, if I, don't, I mean, of course I know what it is, but. Let's say I didn't know what it was, so I'll ask, okay, what's the word quantum mean? He got quantum means packaged or something like that, right? So I'm like, okay, fine. So then, um, but when, and everyone else in the class knew that word except for me. So of course it made me look stupid. But when he said, what's a universal wrench? A universal, yeah, universal wrench, I think that's what he said it was. No one else in the class knew, but I knew. And I mean, I can totally understand what he mean because I don't know what quantum physics mean and everyone else did, but no one knew what universal mean and I did. So he got mad at me. He said, well, how did you know that word, but you don't know this other word? And I'm thinking to myself, well, if you use the word universal, that means it's applicable in many situations. You know, it's like, I want to say genetic, but it's just, you can just use it, you know? And <laughs> I couldn't understand his anger. I couldn't really understand why he was so angry. You know, and I'm I'm looking and I'm like, wow. And I was 22 at the time. And I'm like, wow, you know, it's, it's a bunch of dumb people, you know. The other students didn't know what the word universal meant. That's why they didn't know what a universal wrench was. There's only one wrench that you can use in different things. And it's, it's a monkey wrench, you know, pliers almost... You know, but other than that, it would just be that because you can use it in whatever, you know. So it's like when I got into the conversation with the person and I don't know, it's, it's weird. And then when you get into a conversation, okay, now this happens to me. And I, do this. I love this. This is really funny, though. So I'll get into a conversation with someone. I'll say something. Then they'll come and try to correct me on what I was saying based on their definition of one word that they thought they knew, but they didn't know. And I'm saying like, no, that's not what I said. This is what I said. And so we're going back and forth. I mean, sometimes it'll last 30 minutes or an hour. And I'm saying, why are you taking my word one and you're changing it to your word 13 and you're changing. Just use the word I use. Well, if this no, I'm like, yeah, okay. I understand. I said, listen, we can get into our argument. You can take my words and you can twist them around however 
you want, that is fine. I don't care. It's okay. But don't take my words, twist them around, and then try to throw it at me and then not expect me to slap it back at you, you know, because it's not going to work. But that's what I said. Listen, I said the word one. You said the word 13. They're not synonyms. They're not. I only think they, they're identical. They're numbers, but they're different. You know, O N E versus T H R I. What was it? T H R I R T E E N or something like that, right? And so, if I'm using the number one, and if you want to argue with me or debate me or whatever you want to do it, then you need to at least use a word that's a synonym. One is not. A, it's not synonymous to the word thirteen. So how are you going to justify? that i i don't i don't get it please explain it to me and because a lot of people they don't understand like i make these videos called um um pdo okay p there is an acronym for um, processing uh encoding delivery execution and overwrite and basically i just explain how the thinking is and if you guys have a chance you need to watch that video it's long i made five videos and one of my youtube video um viewers said no you're not finished I said, yes i am he said no you're not and i was tired of making because it was they were already long so i made the last one was like over an hour and stuff but it basically tells you simplistically how to get control of your thinking and so that you're it uh, um so you can have better control of your actions and stuff and um this person evidently what this person did is they took a word, they took my idea, switched it up. And you have to understand a lot of people that are really so intense in their thoughts because it's something that they created in their mind. You have to remember anything that you do, everything that you do, it has to be a thought first on that image. And then once you approve it, then you let it out. Then you do something with it. And so this person is intent with their thinking. I said, listen, I understand what you're doing. What you're doing is you're creating this image in your head. And you're saying that it's true. And I said, yes, it is true. But it's only true in your head only because everything in your head is controlled. You're controlling that situation. So it's like... um, a guy talking, because I like, I like talking about relationships when I use examples. I said, it's like a guy talking to a girl. <clears throat> He'll walk up, see this beautiful woman, you know, I don't know, she could be a thousand foot tall and he can only be one inch tall, whatever. But he goes and approach and t- approach her, approaches her and speaks to her, you know. And in his mind, he done already talked to her, got the number, took her out to dinner, <clears throat> had whatever fun they did. And and whatever. He goes up and talks to her. She says no. Not because she doesn't like him, because of his color, because it is. It's just bad timing because at that point she got something that's more urgent than um, entertaining his thoughts, right? Or his requests. And so he'll get upset. That girl, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know. Yeah, I understand, but you have to remember something. You can't go to a woman or you can't go to a person with these thoughts of, I've done it. You know, how these uh, motivation. Now, listen, let me, I want to say something. Um, These motivation speakers, they're out there doing what they're doing. A lot of people, they benefit from them and everything and all of that stuff because they're really, they do help because a lot of people really are lost and what i mean by lost is they just come that close i mean that close and then they stop and all they had to do is just take that extra half of a fourth of a millimeter step and bam they would have got it but some people come right to the to the goal and just stop you know and um i don't listen to them because um i already understand how the mind works you know, um, what's that song? I, I always feel that somebody's, no, what's that? My, my mind's playing tricks on me or something like that. Some song, I forgot. 
And basically that's what it is. And I, I'm not going to lie, even though I do understand, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm not a victim of my um, <coughs> thoughts playing tricks on me. It's not my thoughts playing a trick on me, but it's just I'm playing tricks on myself via my thoughts because actually I shouldn't even be here, you know, but because um, I know all of my crossroads and stuff uh, where I did what I did, you know, and um, a lot of it was just basically because, like I said, my um, second wife, you know, said, how much money you want? And the first thought was half. I said, no, it's okay. I don't want it. You know, just keep it on. Let me just have this in the bounce. And, you know, so I keep it moving forward and stuff. So um, I tell these people, well, so I'm saying, listen, what you have to understand is it's good to have a dream and see the goal, you know, what you want to do, your house, your beautiful woman, your kids, and all of that stuff. And that's good. But what you have to understand is that even though people say you have to have that goal and then you pursue it. And like I told one of my friends about um, thinking backwards, right? And and he uses it in, in his university and stuff, you know, in his classes and stuff. <laughs> and it was really sad because I told him that like years ago, but I didn't tell him deep. You know, so when he's using it, you know, when he told me that what he was doing, I started laughing. I didn't even say anything, you know, why are you using my thing? You know, I didn't give you permission to do it because actually it's not because I didn't clarify what I'm saying. It's actually not good because there's more to it, you know, but um, there's more to it. But it's almost like you think of that stuff, but it's like it's in instructions. You know, you go, you have a thought. And you have a thought of being with this woman and you're here. But in your mind, you it's like instantly, bam, bam, bam. So it's like, hey, how you doing? Let's go out to dinner, bam, bam, bam. And that's it. And then it just goes through the thing. But, you know, it's not that easy for a lot of guys. For me, it's like, well, okay, hey, what's up? Like I was talking to a friend. Um, we were in um, Umeda perfect example and i'm just eating this ice cream this one japanese girl walked by while i'm eating i said hey you want some ice cream she turned and said okay gave her some and then you know my friend's like really shocked because i'm trying to help him um change his vibrations so that he can be more i don't know more more successful in whatever it is that he's pursuing and when he saw that, he was like really shocked. And he was like, see, you got it, you got it. I said, you know, maybe I do, maybe I don't. But, you know, because of my 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 vibrations and stuff, I, I really do get to sense a lot of stuff. So when I when these people who I talk to, they have these these, like I said, these motivation guys and stuff, what they're saying is true, but there's something else there that they don't say. And what it is is that everything in your mind you do is controlled. The woman is controlled. You're controlled. The situation is in a a controlled environment. But your mind is a controlled environment, but outside is not controlled. There's nothing controlled. Now, you can have these trigger words. You can have all of these things. That's fine. And I'm not saying it's bad or anything like that. But when a girl says no, and like, um, I said that in one of my YouTube, that's how probably me and um, Locke, I mean, not Locke, who, I don't know who's Locke, uh, I'm guy Coco Boss, we became good friends, because I said, if a woman ever rejects you, get on your knees and thank God, because that's a multitude of problems that you missed, you know, and so a lot of people don't understand that that controlled environment in your head will hurt you you are better off i mean i'm not saying that these motivation people is because you know i know this um thoughts attract um what are those things you know i, I don't even remember the, the uh these these terminologies nomenclature since i was uh laws of attraction or something like that um i don't know because I don't, I don't get into it because I don't need it. Um, um, and because, I mean, sometimes 
Okay, well, whoa, I'm getting all this stuff. Okay, a king, the cartoonist. It's ironic that you're talking about vibration and frequency around the same time I am starting to listen to the affirmation. So can I end this point? Though I've been on this path years already, it's already good to get refreshed. Oh, okay, cool. I learned these words to understand the terms. Oh, okay. Like I said, um, how do I come about this stuff? Thoughts become things. What's up, uh, Brill the Con? Okay, what I'm saying is this. Um, I was maybe, uh, uh, I was like nine or 10, I was in Detroit, lived on Cascade, the, na- the apartment that, if you guys in Detroit, I used to live on uh, 10,009 Cascade. Um, I think down the street, on this side, down the street to the left, it was a school called McKinley Junior High School. I think that was, I mean, McKinley Elementary School. So that's where I lived. And then after that, I moved on to Roseland and stuff, and then to LA. And so I got hit by a car. Um, I, I should have died. Um, I don't know why I didn't die. And um, when I came back out of that hospital about a week or so, um, I said, you know what? And I, I mean, I'm like nine or 10 years. I said, wait, you know, I don't understand this life thing because I was a kind of strange kid. And I said, let me just... Let me just stand back and look at life from a distance. So I did that pretty much all my life. So when I went to the military, you know, them white people doing that, you know, I guess people would call it their R word. I never looked at it like that because I understand that people are entitled, whether you want to or not, they're entitled because they can do it, think how they want enforce things how they want and the only way that you're if you don't like it then you have to build something that's going to prevent the way you can um, prevent them from bothering you or you can push them you know however they pushing you <laughs> and so i never looked at anything that happened even when they i think you know some 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 really interesting things happened to me in the military but nothing physical but regardless of what those white people did it didn't compare to what I went through with the brothers. And so, um, and, and, and so what I'm, what I'm saying is when I got hit by the car, something mentally probably happened to me to where the point was I, w- I understood that everything that you're going to learn is already here. Um, that's why I always talk about math. I always talk about the number one. Um, even this charger. You know, sure. This charger, whoever made it, of course, has some intelligence, had to learn. But the possibility of this charger to be made was already here. People discovered this, discovered the elements the ways to put this together. And so that's what I stumbled on. So I, what I'm saying, of course, like um, like um, the terminology, you do need to learn the terminology. But I didn't learn the terminology because I was the one who understood the elements without naming them. And then when people talk about it, I can understand what they're talking about because let's say like you talk about uh, laws of attraction, right? Okay, so the laws of attraction, I understand the word the. I understand the word laws. I understand the word of. I understand the word attraction. So basically, it's just saying that there's rules of attractions have rules, okay? And attraction have rules. So... Uh, hello, I was listening to Bob Proctor earlier this evening, and he said something similar. The cellular phone was already here. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I mean, I'm not a Christian or anything. I'm not saying, I mean, I grew up like that. But, you know, like I said, there's nothing new under the sun. Everything was here. You know, somebody just did it. So when people, because I got, I had a really good friend. He was real cool. We fell out. I don't know why we fell out, but, um, he was always talking about that. And um, 
I kept telling him, I know what you're talking about. I don't know the terminology, but just because you say the word and then you start saying what it, it's like I can say, uh, uh, I face. Who in here know what I face is? If somebody tell me what I face is, I'll send them, um, send me a request for five dollars. Okay, and you, oh man, you got one minute from. Wait, 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 wait! Don't wait, 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 wait. See, I give away money too. I need to start collecting money so I can pass it out. Okay, so wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so you got. Well, man, what am I doing with the camera? Okay, so. Let's see, one minute. Okay. Now, starting now, what is I face? Okay. What is I face? And um, you tell me what I face is. I'll give you my PayPal thing. You send a request for $5. You send me a request for $5, and I will send it to you. I think I have it on here. It's definitely on my phone. Um, so I wonder if my PayPal thing is on here. I don't think I put it on here. Ah, let me see. Let me see. Pay, PayPal. Ah, maybe I do have it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no. I don't have an app. But I might have the... No one. Come on. You guys know what iFace is, right? Come on. No, you guys know. Got a few seconds. Got a few seconds. Ooh, okay, good. It's on here. Uh, okay, can you hear that? A face is a distraction. Ah, oh, man, you're like one second too late. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's a phone case. So if I say, if I say, I have an eye face and no one knows what it is, but somebody does this, it's a case. Then I can understand that. But see, this is what I talk. You did hear the blah, 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 right? Okay, so I'm sorry, but it was like one second. I was like, bam, did you turn on? So somebody will say, they'll talk about the case. Now, this is what, this is what it is. Another problem that people do is they'll have a community, hello. She's so pretty. Um, a lot of people have, um, this is laundry next to me. Man, so many beautiful moms and wives and I guess single moms and single girls, women go over there. And I was looking in, so I always get to say hi. But um, what the problem is, is thoughts, right? And I want to, I don't want, I want to jump on the board and draw pictures, but I don't really, oh man. Okay. Basically it's like this. This is the brain. Okay, and you're thinking about all of this, right? But when you start talking, you're talking, you only say this, but you're, you're thinking everything. You're thinking everything, but you only say this. So when a person say this, then I'll say something and they say, well, no, you know, I just told you this. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You said this. No, I did tell you this. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Maybe you were thinking this. And in your mind, you know this. But what you said was this. And so when you brought this into it, I don't know. You can't say, oh, well, I just told you this. No, you didn't tell me this. You told me this. You're thinking everything, but you're only talking about this. So when they start talking about this here, and then they put it down, and then all of a sudden they say "I face," because that's what this is. Actually, "I face" is a um, uh, a phone case, and I'm thinking like "I face." Okay, so what's an "I face"? I just told you what "I face." Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, no, you didn't. You just said this label, and even though it does have "I face" on it, but I mean, but you you know, you just talking about this case but you're only talking about you know this information but only here and so that's what kind of arguments i get into and i tell people i'm like listen if you have something from one to ten that you're thinking about you only tell somebody one three seven they're not going to get the whole picture they're only going to have one three seven 
And then you leaving them there to fill the holes. And so why would you get upset at me or anyone else because of your, uh, because you failed to reveal the whole conversation, the whole thing that you're thinking, you know, and a lot of people really don't realize that. And so when I get into a conversation with people, they're thinking so much about what they want to say or whatever, or they're trying to prove this or this and that, that they don't take the time to say, hey, before you get into a conversation that you started and that you want to win, but you want to have all your information there and you want to put it on that person and you want to win, well, you have to reveal everything. If you don't reveal everything, then that's how arguments or misunderstandings start. And then when somebody tells you that, hey, you know, what happened to the two, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten? You got these gaps. No, I just no, no. I just told no. You told me one, three, seven, not two, three, four, five, six, eight, um, eight, nine, and ten. You know. And so when I tell these people that, they don't want to believe that they didn't tell me. Why? Why don't they believe that they didn't tell me? Okay. And and it's it's a trip. I'm like, why don't these? I was like, but the, you didn't do it. So you got one more minute. Five dollars. Tell me why that they think they told me the two, three, the, I mean, sorry, the two, four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10. You got 45 more seconds. Why? And so that's why I get in these arguments with it, especially with my bro and, you know, just different people, my wife, you know, and I'm like, whoa, I'm like, I, I'm telling you, you know what I did one time? I actually had a conversation with a friend and I taped it and um, misinterpretation. Ah, close, close, close. Got 21 seconds. Try again. And um, I taped it. Um, If you guys saw my live video, me and my brother, or they tell themselves, ah, kind of close. Got six seconds. So, um, so again, this thing, if you guys saw my life, uh, time's up. Hopefully you heard that. I need to turn this up louder so you guys can hear it. Okay, time's up. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. That's the bar just saying time's up. Um, the reason is they didn't, um, they think they told me the two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten is because it's here in their minds. And when they go back to thinking, they already have this picture. So they're thinking that they already said this. So they know this, but they didn't, they think they told me that because that's what the idea that they had in their mind. But a lot of people don't want to take that extra 10, 15, 20, 3, 4 days, however it is, to completely reveal, explain what they're thinking because you can't, uh, it's not fair to you or to anyone else if you don't lay everything out. And that's why I get my arguments. I'm saying, listen, it's like this. Someone asked me a question and I'm telling you, my brother, a few people I know, wife, um, just a few people, when they ask me a question, because a lot of people ask me a question and they answer their own questions. <laughs> I'm like, who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Listen, if you're going to answer their own question, then I'm going to leave. And you can, here's a mirror, get a mirror, just sit in the mirror and talk to yourself and argue with yourself. They ask me a question. They ask me a question that's going to take at least seven words to finish. I get to three, they cut me off, and then add whatever it is they think I'm going to say, and then say that's what I'm going to do. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, you can't do that. You have to listen. You have to listen. Not only do you have to listen, but you have to tell everybody what you're thinking, because a lot of times, a lot of people, they're so excited, they they thinking one to 10, but they only say that one, three, and seven, and that's it. And they, go, they will swear 
to whatever that they told you everything. And the only reason they can do that is because they know everything, but I don't know everything. And you guys, um, you should try that. You know, just record it as, you know, just with some friends as a, um, as a uh, <laughs> experiment, you know, and try it, record it, get into the conversation and listen to it and see, you know, if you start arguing, fine, whatever, you know, and just listen to it. You'd be surprised how it is. And, and I'm, I'm just looking at people and I'm thinking to myself like, wow, you know, are these people idiots? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, when I wrote that, um, that, um, PDO, um, series or whatever it was, you know, and I, I'm going to tell you stuff. I never, I mean, if you actually watch it, it, it would seem like I sat down and I just thought this through. No, that stuff just streams just like, this, just like that. And so, um, I don't know it was just worse, but it's really sad. So when I speak to people, you know, sometimes, oh, let me get back to what I'm saying. So now when a person asks me a question, if it's one of those type of people, I'm saying, okay, you ask me a question, how many seconds do I have to answer it? Or how many words are you going to give me to answer this question? And you know, they get me, and I'm like, why you just answer? I said, I can't because the minute I say one word, you're going to jump in. Like, I got a few people, even my brother, he does that too. A lot of people say, hurry up. You talk too much. Huh? What are you talking about? You know? And it's a trip. You know, so I, I don't know. It's like, Everything about communication is here. It's also the words that you use, okay? And if you're talking to people and you don't understand the vocabulary, I mean, I've met a whole bunch of people who I've gotten to these serious debates because you have, you know you have these some words that has three or four definitions. And they, they could be very, I mean, they could be contrast, like black and white. You know what I'm saying? And I'll say the word, they'll, and I'm using meaning number five, but they're going to use the meaning number one. And I'm like, no, that's not the meaning. I'm, no, but that's what you said. And blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, but that's the way you're interpreting it. I'm telling you, I'm using this word, but I'm using the fifth entry. Well, I don't care. I'm going to use the one. I'm like, how are you going to take my conversation and then take and just change it to something that's different? That's not what I'm talking about. Well, you said this. And I used to have, I heard one this one friend that we used to get into it a lot. And I was weird. And it's, it's funny because I remember this one conversation I had with a couple of brothers. They're real cool. They're really smart. Both, I think both of them got degrees. I don't have a degree. I did go to college. I didn't finish. I wish I did to finish, but had I finished, then I wouldn't have made that $1.5 million. But actually, no, it's in LA. I was planning on getting rich and stuff. Anyway, but um, so we're talking about math. We're talking about statistics. Um, hour and a half goes by, and they were telling me how, you know, they took time and, you know, doing their statistics, uh, studying hard. You know, one brother said he was putting eight hours a day studying it. The other guy saying he's putting it, and I, in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm just laughing, right? So I'm, you know, in my mind, I'm just like, wow, wow, are you joking? In my mind, you know, I'm like, so I'm trying to tell him, no, it's easy. Did you take it? No, but I don't have to take the class. Well, how can you not take the class and you know it's easy and blah 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 blah? A uh, thirty minutes later, I'm saying, you know what? And I'm giving these guys a chance, 30 minutes. And, and, and I love them both. They're cool. Um, and I said, I sat here for an hour and a half listening to you guys telling me that I don't know what statistics is and because I didn't take the class. And I said, I know the problem why you guys have, uh, I know why you have problems with the words, with the class, that's statistics class. Now, I will send you $10 Okay, and you got one minute. If you can tell me why, what the answer was. Wait, wait, matter of fact, let me write it here. Wait, 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 I'm going to write it so you guys don't think I'm lying. Wah, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Ah. Uh. 
Uh-huh. Okay, almost one second. Okay, so sorry about that. Hopefully I wasn't in too long. So I'm gonna give you know what? I have to uh I have to go do something. So I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, sorry, I had to take a refreshment break this time. Uh, sorry about that. I had to take. Can you... I'm back. Can you hear me? Hopefully you can. Somebody let me know. Um, I had to take a refreshment break. The last time I took a refreshment break, I had these on and everybody heard everything that happened. But okay, so are you guys still there? Can you guys hear me? Hear me? Can you hear me? I need a hello. Yes, I can hear you. Or something. No one. Okay, cool. Thank you, King. Okay. So my question. So I tell them. I know why you um, had problems with the word statistics. Okay. Thank you, Ice Beam and King. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I tell them. I know why you had problems with the class um, statistics. And I no, you don't. So, what do you think I told them? If you tell me what, what it is, what I told them, because I wrote on the board, so, you know, you got one minute, I will send you $5. You send me a request for $5. No, wait. On your mark. Get set. Go. Okay? So hopefully you guys can see that. One minute. Let's get some answers. Why did they have problems in the statistics class? What do you think the answer is? My answer was because it's always, always, always going to be the same thing. And when I told them, when I, <laughs> when I told them, they would start recanting everything. And it was funny because I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, you know? <laughs> It was funny, but and I'm like, wow. And I'm like, listen, I sat here for an hour and a half. I listened to everything you guys said. You didn't know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling, and I'm telling, when I gave them the answer and then explained to them what I was saying, it was like, all of a sudden, physics. Okay, that's it. It's finished. This is what I showed, I told them. Uh, I think you, oh, so you go late again. I think they... Huh? I, I think you told them they think they... Ah. Wait. Oh, man. Oh, I made a mistake and deleted your message. Uh, why does that happen? I swear I don't know how that happens. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Can you put that... Put, can you type your message again? Because for some... I don't know why that happens. I don't know why that happens. I didn't mean to hide it. I swear I don't know. I swear I don't know how that happens like that. That is so crazy. Ah, oh, man, I'm so sorry. Please, uh, please put your message up there again. I'll wait until you put your message up there again. Should I wait? Can you hear me? Oh, man. How did I, how did I delete that when I just only touched it? Oh, I must have deleted him. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, how did that happen? Oh, I am so sorry. Ah, oh, wow. I am so sorry about that. Wait, hold on. Wow, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Ah, this thing's still blink, blinking on and stuff. Okay, I am so sorry, King. You got to... Uh, uh, let me see. I must have... No. I'm high user. Uh, okay. Let's see if he's back on there. Unhide him. It says I I heard you. I don't know how I Okay. Okay, you're back. Sorry. I am so sorry. Gosh. What is crazy? Okay, so this is the answer that I told them. Okay. Hello, five people in the house. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let me see how I can turn this thing around. Oh, there it is. This is what I said to him. I said, the reason you don't understand you have problems with statistics is because you did not know what the meaning of the word statistics meant. I answered on time. No, you didn't. My answer, to, and that's not the answer. This is what it is. No, this is the answer is what I told them. Okay, but you missed it by, again, another minute. But I don't know why the volume on this thing isn't isn't high. Now it's up all the way. Here, let me, here. I'm going to see, I'm going to put this on five seconds, four seconds. Whoa. Put this on four seconds. Uh, wait, put it on four seconds. See if you guys can hear. Uh, oh, it's so low. Oh, it's too low. You can't hear it. Ah, there it is. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. Reset that. Okay. And uh, finish. And yeah, four seconds. See if you guys can hear it. Hold on. No, it doesn't say it. No, it's too low in here. Sorry. Anyway, next time I'll just show you the clock, okay? So what I told them was, again, I said to them, the reason you are having problems in statistics is because you did not know what the meaning of the word statistics meant. Now, I'll give you one more minute. Let me sign this up, and I will sing, give you another chance to win $5. And... Uh, Hear it? Oh, man. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to push the start. You get one minute. This is the question. As soon as I finish answering the questions, I will do this. The first one to give me the answer will get the um, $5. So um, let me think. Uh, so what do you think I told them after I said this statement? What do you think I told them? I told them because you didn't know what the meaning of the word statistics meant. They got mad, said a few things. And what do you think I said? Forty-three seconds. And I'm telling you, man, I told them that, man. I mean, it was it, it, it's funny, you know. It's, it's like when I teach these um three-year-old kids. Um, like during the last five minutes or four year or five year kids, how to multiply and divide. And their mothers are looking at me, but the way I do it is so easy. The mothers are like, oh my God, if they would have taught us like this, you know, in Japan, we would have did so much better. You told them to go research the meaning instead of thinking that they already know it. No. No. Six seconds. I wonder if that's fair for me to, can you guys hear that? It didn't even buzz. Dang. Okay. What I told them was, I told them what the meaning of <laughs> the word, the meaning of what statistics was. I said, listen, you guys don't know what this word statistics is. The word statistics is a 
percentage. It's a fraction. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. I said it's a percentage. It's a fraction. Statistics is a math class that deal with numbers greater than zero and less than one. Because if it's zero, there's nothing to do. If it's one, everything's complete, so there's nothing to do. So basically, it, statistics deals with fractions. So for the past one hour and 30 minutes, you're telling me that you do not understand fractions. Am I wrong? When I told them that, <laughs> oh my, it was like the light went bing, and then, no, 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 no. I'm like, I said, listen, it doesn't even matter. You know, it's, I don't win anything. Okay, I didn't win. I never took statistics. You guys got the degrees. I don't have a degree, you know. So even even I can I can actually teach three year old kids how to multiply and divide. Four year old kids how to multiply and divide, and I can do it. I'm sure a lot of other people can do it. I can do it in a way where they won't forget. And it's just of course with single digits and stuff like that, but where they won't forget. Then if I do other ones, then I you know as I went along, I was just showing these kids. You know, um, little older kids, hey, this is what you do. You know, this is how you do it and stuff. And they're like, and their mom's like tripping and stuff. But just because I can do that, who is going to let me come to their neighborhood and teach their three, four, five, six year old kids how to multiply and divide in 30 minutes, 20 minutes? Please just give me time. Bring your kids to a com- um, uh, community center, as many as you want. Parents, be quiet. Just don't say anything, and then I'll show you. It will take me less than 10 minutes. Then the other 10 minutes, we can talk about it, give more exercise, have some kids come up here and do it themselves. Who's going to do that? No one's going to do that because I don't have a degree. So it doesn't really matter what I can do or anything because without having that degree, unless I put it on YouTube, it means nothing. Okay, but when I told him that, <laughs> oh man, then do he got man. Statistics is all about fractions, fractions. Now, who in here don't know how to um uh do what is what's that word for uh, multiplying divide? Uh, what's that word? Gosh, I can't. Who does not how to compute with fractions? Compute fractions or do problems with fractions. So, you know, in a lot of my um, videos, always when I'm talking to people in the videos, I always tell them that it's the vocabulary. The only reason you didn't do well in school is not because of the subject. It is because of one thing, one thing only. And if you, wait, wait, wait. It's only one thing. I'm trying to get away this five dollars. Actually, it's only one thing. I'm gonna get it again. Why do people have problems in school? One minute. Why? And if you answer the question, then I will send you five dollars. You send me a request to my PayPal. Five dollars. And oh. If you like my videos, please subscribe, tell your friends, share the videos. You can um, send uh, Bitcoins or to my Bitcoin wallet. I will put that in later whenever I remember. Or you can send me some money at uh, paypal.me.gsdpn, gsd50jpn. They, the teacher or the school is teaching the students. No. Try again. Got 20 seconds. <coughs> what? Wait, okay, no, it's not that. It's not that. The number one reason why people have problems in school, I wonder if this stupid thing, oh yeah, uh, okay, it's done. The number one reason why people have problems in school is because they don't understand the vocabulary. Do not understand the vocabulary. Perfect example. I was um, at this Indian shop, and, and this lady smart. I think I know what she did. She probably went back home because I told her something. I, um, her kids were playing video games, and I'm always eating there, right? The food's really good. They're close now. And the mother and her husband worked at another place. She was real strong. 
she was he was kind of weak, you know that. But she uh, uh was it India? Maybe India, or I think India. I'm not sure. India or Pakistan? I forgot. I forgot what which one it was from. But uh, I was horrible in algebra because of factoring. I could never get it. Fell and had to take the class over and end up getting a C again. Past C minus in it and factoring. Factor ah factoring. Oh, you mean like the two x x squared plus two x equals to whatever? Um, yeah. Um, you know, first of all, you know, uh. When you do the, is that what you're talking about? Please let me know because I don't want to run off, you know, because maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so I don't want to give my understanding. But what I told her was, I said, oh, can I teach you? I said, how do your children? They were like six or whatever. I said, can I teach them how to multiply and divide? And she looked at me like, of course, you know, the expression on her face, I don't know. Yep, correct. Ooh, let me, oh, let me know. Oh, okay, so you're saying we're correct. Okay, what is x squared? Okay, x squared plus 2x equals to plus 1 equals to 0, whatever. What is that? Okay, um, let me think. One minute, what is it? And I know you guys know this. What is it? Okay, hopefully you guys understand what the word what means, but what is it? The first one to tell me what it is. I will, you can send me a request for $5. So that's that would have been like, what, almost $25 I would have gave away? $25 I would have gave away. Yeah, any donations, I do appreciate them. $1, $5, whatever. Things that PayPal me, PayPal me, dot gist 50 jpn or something like that. You guys go on PayPal and look it up. You can find it. I'll put it in here later. I have no idea what's happening. What's up, all? What's up? What's up, conditioning? How you doing, man? <laughs> I forgot to put a uh, uh, invitation in the Players Club. I should do that now. Wait, let me. Wait, let me make sure I don't mess around. Uh, online class. Yo, what's up? I'm back. I got an online class at ten thirty. So it's gonna stop there. That student, I've been teaching her since she was three years old. I think she's 20 now, 17 years. And I've been like telling her, hey, why don't you find a new teacher so they can teach you more, um, is that word academic, more specified subjects and stuff. This late, yep. I'm open 24 hours. That's on my, um, the lesson this late, yep. But it's on the phone, um, line and stuff. I might have one student sometimes driving through the lesson online when I'm talking using these headphones. Stuff is really easy. See, innovation. When you can be driving to your girl's house, <laughs> driving to your girl's house, having an online uh, lesson and stuff, getting that money. Yes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Woo! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That'd be cool too. Oh man, I ain't even gonna say that because I give away too many ideas and stuff. You know all that money people made because of my do you love like me video, so I should have made money off of. Okay, let me answer the question. Um it is a matter of fact, let me draw it for you. -da -da. And see that's and, and see that's the whole thing about education and stuff, and that's why I'm always talking about education because I know it well. I need to take my butt back to I need to take my butt back to uh, college. Like my first Japanese wife, she said, "Why you want to go to college?" I said, "Get a degree." And she said, "Just come to Japan for a month. Come out here, man." I said, "Cause I want to make some money." She said, "Uh, I would just come out for a month." I and that, and without the degree, I made over one. Well, I helped generate over a hundred and one point five million dollars. That's a trip, huh? But. Got a lot of people doing that. Okay, so I forgot the question. Oh, here. So here it is. X squared plus, let's say 2X plus 1 equals to 0, whatever. But this here is going to be Y. And this is a, hopefully you guys see this. It's just going to be a parabola. That's it. That's all it is. You know, because if X equals to 0 and 0, then X is going to be 1. So the first point is... Uh, X is zero, Y is zero, one. So it'll 
be something like that. Now, it, it might be wide or thin. That I'm not sure. I think it has something to do with that. But that's what um, all it is. And then factoring, you know, well, they teach you, you know, this, 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 this. And you got to pay attention. I'll say, what's up, Johnson? Johnson, Marcus in the house. What's going on? We want more videos. You know, I really don't have to know what to talk about because I'm always talking about the same old stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, but what I want to do is help you get my, um, what you call it back? I'm going to get my, um, get my, what is that called? My, uh, what you call it back? My partnership back. So I, I think I need like another 2,100 hours. So if you guys can share and help your friends, I think I need like 10 viewing hours a day. And I will, it'll take like six months or something, but I need to um, hurry up and get that back because once I um, get that back, I'm going to go live. Then I'm going to start going out in the streets and doing some stuff, live and stuff. And whoo, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to really have some fun, you know, because it's going to be live, not just pre recording and stuff, you know, because you get to see me raw, 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 raw. But anyway, um, so this is communication. Okay. So, that's what, let me flip this again. So factoring, what is it? Well, if you're doing algebra, what is algebra? I think um, from what I understand, it's just a study of lines. You know what I'm saying? Lines. And um, it was funny because I had, uh, I looked on YouTube or something, and um, I forgot, but basically it's these squares. It's like multiplication. What What is multiplication all about? Who knows? Wait. It's the last time I'm giving five bucks away, and I've done said it a thousand times, so you guys probably should um, get this. Wait, don't give the answer. Yeah, one minute. What is multiplication all about? Uh, what's the difference between multiplication and um, division and uh, subtraction and addition? And if you tell me that, send a request, and I will send you five dollars. <laughs> Got 42 sex. Come on, you are you man, it's, it's funny, right? Black people created mathematics, of course, because we're the first people on the earth. But yet their ancestors hate it. Don't make any sense. Doesn't make sense. It's like your father builds a billion dollar business, try to teach you to do it, you don't understand. And then you when he dies because you're angry, because you didn't want to study, you didn't want to gain that knowledge, then you sell it to somebody else who's not black and they go on to making a trillion dollars and then you get mad like what happened with hip hop right hip hop was like not supposed to lead a black neighborhood but you know somebody said hey you know it's that money out there okay that's it no one oh my god no answers <laughs> the difference between multiplication and division is simple one for basic components of arithmetic gives the result combination of groups of sides of equals. Ooh, one of the four basic operation arithmetics gives the results of combining groups of equal signs. My brother always a present. Hey, what's up? What's up? Thank you. Travel. Um, did you get that out of the dictionary? I answered duh. Did you get that out of the dictionary? Just asking you a question. Hello. So I want you to, you didn't answer the question completely. So you got it wrong. But I want you to write the question that you think I asked you. Okay. And see, that's what I'm saying about communication. You know, it's like, know what you can't write the um answer the question the question i asked was this and let me write it let me i wonder if i should just turn this around because <laughs> i like to see what i'm doing okay so this is communication i'm telling you once you guys understand this y'all can go home do your own little home study and get out there get the little brothers and young kids, my kids in your streets, white kids or whoever, and get this knowledge on because, you know, 
whatever's going on, don't matter. Children are important and they must be fed and taught. Oh, 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 LOL, life lesson. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, my question was if you can tell, can you guys read that? Hopefully you can. If you can tell, if you can tell me what, what, if you if you can tell me what's what's the difference? What is the difference between multiplication and uh, division versus Addition, addition, and uh, subtraction is what I asked. Okay. This was my question. Okay. And you gave me half of it, even though it was kind of interesting how you did it because what you wrote, because it looks like uh, if you wrote that yourself, that's pretty cool, but it was too technical. But basically, Multiplication, multiplication and division deals with, deals only with sets, okay? And addition and subtraction deals with arbitrary, Hopefully I'm right there wrong. Arbitrary, you know, it's messed up because you've been over here and you know, but it's dealing with um, arbitrary, arbitrary. Ar oh, my eyes, that's terrible. Arbitrary, arbitrary, maybe that's right. Arbitrary numbers, numbers. So they're not sets. I mean, it could be sets, it doesn't matter, but they're arbitrary, but here, Division and multiplication deals only with sets. And so if kids understand it, um, people understand it, then it'll make math easy. And I'll tell you, I wasn't, well, only A I ever got was in trigonometry. <laughs> that was easy, but I don't know why I got A in that class. I really don't. I think I got an A in the class because I answered all the questions and stuff. Okay, let's see. I think there is a delay in the chat between posting messages and hosting receiving it, but this was fine. Okay, yeah, I'm almost, I gotta go soon anyway. I got 14, 14 minutes, about nothing, what, 16 minutes? But anyway, yeah, if you gotta go, go ahead, no problem, 10 people in the house, 10 thing, thumbs up, thank you. But like I said, communication and stuff, is really interesting, like, so basically when my communication with people is, is that I think, People, for some reason, they think I'm smart and I know a lot of things. Or they think they think I think I know a lot of things. But no, I'll be the first to tell you. Well, I don't have to be the first to tell you. But um, I am i don't know everything, you know. And um, there are so many things that I really do need to get out and learn and do, especially exercise too and all that stuff. But, you know, it's really, it's really difficult to communicate. Well, it's really difficult when I communicate with people when they really don't understand um, what's going on. And this is the perfect example, right? So I was going to, I was on my way home and I saw a student that one of my friends was teaching. She had an Escalade and I'm driving my Lexus here in Japan. She pulled up next to me, beep, beep, beep. I looked, it was her. She said, hey, what you doing? Let's go have lunch. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She said, no, 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 just come, just come. It's okay, it's okay. Because these girls out here, they players and stuff, you know. So I said, okay. So she told me where she was going. So I went there, parked. And as I'm walking to the restaurant, some other Japanese lady came over. And she was looking and smiling, you know. And I'm like, all right. So I just said hi. And she came and we started talking. And she was saying she come to meet her friend. Guess what? I, I, I swear to God, I swear to God. 
Well, I can't cuss at God, so I'm I'm honest. That woman who asked me to go to the restaurant at the mall and the woman I met, they were going to meet each other. And I walked in there. I'm like, oh, that's the same restaurant. And it was her. I couldn't believe it. I swear I could not believe it. I'm like, what is going on? So we sit in there. These women are strong Japanese women. I'll hear these women. They're going to say what they want to say, you know. And so we sit at this big old table. There was a Japanese man there, and she's going, they both are going in on Japanese. And I'm like, dang, watch out, chill. I'm like, these guys are right there, you know. And we we're all speaking English, they're fluent in English and stuff. And I said, they might understand. She like, you know, I said, see, I should be nice. I don't care. We don't care if they understand, whatever. And they were going off, and I was like, wow, I need to change this, you know. So guess what I did? I said, hey, do you guys know about trigonometry? They looked at me. They're like, what? What did you say? Huh? Huh? What did you say? Huh? Huh? Hey, let me people in the house. Thank you. Thank you. I said, yeah, trigonometry. They're like, oh, we hate the trigonometry. I'm like, why? It's easy. They're like, no, no, no. I said, trigonometry is only about the number one. They're like, no, no, it ain't. Blah, blah, blah. I grabbed a piece of paper. I swear. I whoop, 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 whoop. Showed them what it was, man. One of them women took that paper from me, snatched it from me. Bam. And they started just doing all these mathematical problems using trigonometry. And guess what they, guess what happened? They cut me off. They did that tuck in my whoosh. And I'm like, whatever. And I'm like, bye. And they blah, 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 didn't even, man, I got up and walked me. And I was like, man, I don't believe this. Please teach me some trigonometry. Ooh. Okay, I can, but you're going to have to pay. No, I'm joking. But anyway, um, them women cut me off. Can you believe that? They cut me off. But it was funny because how was it? Because like my friend told me, one of my friends said, you, the heck? No, no joke. One of my friends said, you talk about math too much. You can't get no women with math. And I'm like, yes, you can. And um, yeah, if you want to um, hit me up on, um, um, hit me up on line if you have line GS350JP. And um, you can, you know, the woman that said, I think, oh, yeah, um, trigonometry, hit me up in there or hit me email or hit me on Facebook. But if you use GS350JP email, that's cool too. But I have another one. And I use the, because I don't go into GS2 to JPML. I should have took advantage of all that stuff. I'd probably be even rich, right? But anyway, I'll hit me up and I'll show you. It's really easy. It'll probably take like five minutes. You'll, you'll, um, you'll laugh and everything. Um, but I showed it to him. What is your Facebook? GS2 uh, 50 JPN. Hit me up on that one. Okay. And, uh, I can't see that happening in Tokyo. Feel free to say I am wrong. You've been here for a long time. Okay, cool. Um, listen. Um, you know what? I was walking with a friend, and like I said, I'm eating ice cream. This one Japanese walk by. I said, "Hey, you want some ice cream?" I didn't know she knew Japanese or not. I just said it. She said, "Yeah." Gave her same did that. She took it. Gave that. You know. I don't know if we talked, and she went on about her business. I went on about her business. My friend was like, yo, what was that? What was, yo, what's that? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. You know, I've never had any problems with um, women in Japan. Like I said, my first two years, over 2,000 women came and talked to me. Like, you know, ah, guys, you hate it. It was like, you ain't had no 2,000. You ain't had no 2,000 women go come and talk to you in a, in a year. And they're all crying and stuff. And I'm like, huh? Are you joking? Are you joking? 2,000 women in two years. So that's 700 and what? 70 years. We could say 770 days. And then you divide uh, 2,000. 2,000 by 770 is going to be approximately three point something. So basically, each day, three, two, four women came and talked to me in a day. Is that difficult? Because if three women, three to four women don't come and talk to you, handsome men out there, then you got a problem. That ain't my problem. Okay? You know, so like, I'll talk to some other brothers like, I'm a player. I, I'm dating three, four women, blah, blah. I'm like, huh? I said, you should at least be hitting 156. How you going? It's impossible. I said, but you go out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or Thursday, whatever. Let's say Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you go out each day. If you go home, you can pick up a woman to cut, right? They're like, yeah, that's easy. I'm like, okay. Now you take these three that, right, three days, 
Multiply that by 52. 52 weeks times three, six, 156 women you can have. Okay, now, even a woman, 156 dudes she can have. It don't matter because sex is fun. I told them, you should at least be doing that in a year. At least. These dudes are my, ah, I, I'm sat with 20 women. You can do this in a year. Who in here can't go to a club, a male or woman, can't go to a club and pull somebody? Because if you can't do that, then that's not my fault. I didn't, I mean, out of all of them, I, you know, they want to say, I was saying, no, 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 because I was still loyal to my wife. But just imagine, you add a Thursday in there, put another 50, 52 in there. Ooh, boy, shoot, man, y'all owe me some money. Because actually, what I'm thinking about doing is just stop making videos on here and go back to my own original videos when I just talk about my life. Because actually, that's what I wanted to talk about. To a guy in the future said, make the do love you back in videos. Because a white dude sent me something. Okay, uh, amen. So basically, it's, <laughs> you know, uh, so basically, you know, I, I'm like, oh, Ralph, you think you can pick up these women? And I'm like, do the math. Do the math. But if you don't know what math is. <sighs> now, that's the deal. If you can tell me, oops, let me see. If you can tell me. What is the basic foundations of math? Then I will send you five dollars. Boom! Got one minute. What's the basic fundamentals of math? And I'm all broken stuff. See, I'm in my classroom. No students here. Ha ha ha! But I need to change that. I'm gonna start changing that. Start making this money. I've been lazy. Once you make a million dollars and stuff, it puts you in the mood. Like, ah, uh, now you reach the top. You had all the women. You did this and that. What's left? Oops, what's left is you got to go back. Got to go back and help the neighborhood. Whether they hate you or not, doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter if people remember or not because I wrote some books. And they had no Congress Hill Library. No. No, no, no. The basic founder made those. Eh, da, 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 da. Because I'm going down in history as soon as you publish a book. Five dollars. Five dollars. Come on, bro. I know y'all got degrees. Oh, that's it. The basic foundation of mathematics is one. One. That's it. One. The number one. That's it. Once you understand the number one, math is easy. Because all you got to do is, uh, all you got to do is remember the vocabulary. And that's it. You know, remember the vocabulary. I know I sound crazy and stuff. And I'm talking about communication. So anyway, I got um, a few more minutes because but she usually call late. But anyway, um, all I'm saying is that when I talk to people, I have a lot of um, communication problems. And, I, and, and I'm not sure... If, I don't know, because I'm going to tell you, I've never, well, I've never had problems with my intelligence with white people until I met, went to the military and met white people who weren't, uh, who didn't have money, so, who aren't rich. And that, that was, that was really interesting though, because it was, I was like 22 all the other white people know everybody had money, except for my first wife. But um, a lot of other people know they all had money and stuff. I mean, rich, Beverly, Bel Air, Beverly Hills, Pacific Palisades, Palace Verdes, whatever, you know. And um, it was really interesting. The bros always had problems with them. But yeah, just the communication. I mean, it was weird because me and my son got into something. He got mad at me. And it was funny because... Uh, you know, it was funny because I wasn't even talking about him. He was talking about some rapper got deported for telling blacks to start buying their own homes. And he mentioned that the bro had overstayed his visa for 14 years or however long, I forgot how long it was. And so he's talking about it was unfair for whatever, whatever, whatever. And I turned and I started talking to my aunt. And I'm saying, wow, I can't believe, you know, I said he was lucky. They, I guess, they, you know, I mean, they know him. 
and they know he was overstaying. He got to stay here for 14 years, and then I guess he would be later. He would be pretty much labeled a troublemaker because even when you come to Japan and you're a troublemaker, they will um, toss you in jail. And they, I mean, it depends on what it is. They will kick you out because you know in America, if you um, tell blacks to buy land and stuff, that land comes with the power because political and everything else and you know and it's going to um of course it's going to shake up everything you know um but yeah it, it, it was really interesting and just because he was talking about one thing and i mentioned that and then this clash started and <laughs> well this happened <laughs> i mean i don't care it doesn't matter but like i said communication you know it's it's really important and i think um you i don't know if you all have problems with communications and stuff like that but um, you might want to really think about that because a lot of the problem, especially like between what's going on now, you know, it really is just a communication problem. The biggest thing is, I mean, there are there are literally problems there, but you can't fix a problem if you don't know how to talk to a person. Wait, you can't fix a, per- a problem until you talk to a person, but it's going to be impossible to talk to somebody and understand them if you don't know vocabulary, basic vocabularies, argue, depart, uh, what's that, autoresponder, automation. I don't have to read about automation. I don't have to read about auto uh, responder because I know what they are. Okay, I think that's my student. Wait, hold on one second. What's up? What's up? What's up? So I got a few more. I got three more minutes. So I'm going to end this here. I want to talk about it because I kind of got off track. But math and I will hint, give you a hint. Math and English are the same thing. And that's what I told the lady in the Indian thing when I taught her kids that math. And they caught on. They put them video machines down and started making their own math problems. And she was like, I thought you was an English teacher. And I'm like, I am an English teacher. She said, well, why can't you do math? <laughs> I'm like, ah! Math is English. Language is, I mean, math is English is math. Math is language. You know, one plus one equals two. You reuse the symbols only to reduce the time of writing time. But we still say those words. What's up, Rich Man Paul? Man, I was just talking about you early in the video. You know, so you had to go back and see. It wasn't nothing, but I was just saying when we first talked on, I don't know, I guess whatever. And then when I did that video about the accident and you came in and we started talking, I'm like, huh, huh. And then I remember who you were. And I don't think we hadn't talked like what, six, seven years since that was six, seven years ago. And then it was another brother in here, Tim. And um, he, I met him like a couple of years ago, but I don't remember. I just got a picture of him. So I got to go through my memory thing, but I'm gonna have to go. Sorry. Cause, oh, wait, wait, wait. let me see. Oh, wow. You guys want to hear my lesson? I can't see that happen. Oh, because I could do that. I can ask her. Hey, I'm on right now. I am on line. And you mind if I let them hear us do this lesson? And so she was like, yeah. Ah, oh, what's up? What's up? Guy Jean. Yeah, life is good. Always good. Always homie. Yeah. Yeah, we need to hook up, though. When you get a chance. So just waiting for my student. To how it's like, yo, what's up? What's what's up? Life is good. I'm not. A, I'm not. Life. I'm. I'm answering. Life is. Life is good. But I am not taking advantages. I am not taking the. I'm not. I'm not receiving. No, I am. I am not taking advantage. Taking advantages of of. Sorry about that. Of the gifts handed to me. (laughs) How are you? How are you? So anyway, I'm waiting for my student to call. Um, she's real cool though. I remember I got videos of her and stuff. I mean DVDs that he made that her mom let me uh, take her to class. Her. Oh, she's real cool too. Of uh, her and this other girl. 
they passed like those toy tests or eight toy tests. Like level one of them was like maybe eight or nine or ten or something. Not even ten, maybe eight or nine. It took the three and passed it. And I'm like, wow, how are they passing it? Because I'm not teaching anything interesting, but I will tell you something. I can. Wait, let me go on it. Find her real quick. Hopefully she'll call me. Uh, Hopefully, come on, come on, call, 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 call. Oh no. Why is it that every time I try to look up these people's names and stuff, this, this, ah, yeah, oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Okay. So I'm right here. I just went for the call. Okay, so, um, yeah, man, let me see if any messages. I'm like, oh, that's good, man. But like I said, I'm like a terrible host when I do it. So yeah, actually what I need to do is start making these every day so I can hurry up and get my, um, my um, what you call it, and I'm doing a little snap thing or whatever, and um, start uh, uh, making that money, and then I'm going to really start going out, because if I make enough money where I can travel and stuff, you know, then... Y'all gonna see me. I'm just me like chilling and stuff. Girls gonna walk over and say, Hey, how you doing? What you doing? I'm like, whatever you wanna do. And she be like, oh. <laughs> You know, she like you know, it's it's interesting. <laughs> you know, you like, what are you doing? Well, well I'm, I'm I'm minding my business. <laughs> so I don't know. And it, and it's funny too, right? Because you know, I'm fifty six year old, I'm an old man. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm like an old man and stuff, right? And of course, I don't look my age. And the other day, my students are like, how do you? I'm like, how do you think? And they're like 40 with them. I'm like a 50, 60. They look like, what? And then, um, and so, uh, hello, can you start? Okay, I got to go. Yes. Okay. She just called me, so I have to go. All right, guys, have fun. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, you're right. I'm not an old man, but I got to go. I'm in a rush, sorry.